Welcome to another Selfish Airs podcast. In this video, I want to show you how you can install Selfish X on your Xperia XA2 device. First of all, let's take a look at which versions are available. Yola gives you the option of two versions that you can install, a free trial version and a fully supported paid version. As you can see in this table, the free version does not offer support for running Android apps. So if you need the support for Android apps, MS Exchange, predictive text support and want regulatory updates as well as customer support by Yola, you need to pay. For the time I'm recording this video, only the free trial version is available, so the instructions to install the free version or the paid versions are exactly the same. You also have the option to install the free version first to try things out now and pay for the commercial pieces later on so that you don't need to reflash your device. So let's get the free trial for now. To download it you need basically to buy this free trial though the price is set to zero euro so you need an Yola account to be able to complete the purchase. After you did that, you get a nice page with two important links. First, the link to download the image and the second with the instructions on how to install Sailfish on your Xperia XA2. And if you find the instructions are different to the video that you can see here, follow the instructions and not my video. That's especially useful, of course, if you are watching the video much, much later than I'm releasing it. So. The instruction might might change in a year or so. Step one. For the download you need to know the model of your device. You can find this model printed on the packaging of your phone itself or listed in the Android system settings in about phone. Step two. To be able to install anything on your device you need to make sure that you can unlock the bootloader. To do this you need to enable developer mode first in Android system by tapping eight times on the build number of about phone. After that you can go to developer mode and make sure to check OEM unlock. Now you need to go into a special service menu to absolutely make sure OEM unlock is really active and to get your eMine number. Of course again you still have if you still have a packaging usually you can find a sticker with your eMine number as well there. After you've written down your eMine number and made sure OEM Unlock is active, turn off your device. Step 3 Click on the link in the guide for your operating system to go to the Sony Bootloader Unlock page. In my case I'm installing Safish from a Linux machine so I choose the Linux guide here. Step 4. After reading through the Sony Bootloader Unlock page accepting the terms of this unlock you need to enter the eMine number and click on accept to generate an unlock key. Step 5. Plug in the USB cable first to your computer and then take your phone in your hand and quickly after plugging in the USB-C end of the cable make sure to hold the volume up button until a blue LED light turns on. Step 6. Install the necessary software for example fastboot for your operating system. On Linux systems based on Debian I simply copy this command that installs the necessary tools for me. Step 7. Enter the fastboot OEM unlock command. Be aware that you have to copy everything up until the 0x at the end. Then copy the unlock code you got from the Sony side and enter it right in between without any spaces after the 0x and then hit enter. After a few seconds it should end up like on my device with an ok message. If that does not happen check your unlock code and your command again and if necessary maybe generate another unlock code and if it's still not working reboot right into Android and check again if OEM unlock is really checked. Step 8. Extract the Safish OS archive file. 
Step nine, download and extract Android software binaries package from the Sony site. You can find the link in the installation guide and make sure to extract the file in the same directory where your SafeHS files are in. Step 10, execute the bash flash sh from your SafeHS directory in the terminal and you might need to enter your user or root password to perform administrative tasks. And that's it. Basically, after the flashing is complete, you'll get a nice message telling you to reboot your device and you can then unplug the device and holding the power button to start the device. The Xperia XA2 will inform you upon reboot that the bootloader is unlocked and you need to keep it unlocked. Otherwise, you are not able to boot into SafeHS. And now enjoy your SafeHS on your Xperia XA2. I hope you enjoyed this little video demonstration and thanks for watching.